This is the history of the Parasaurolophus. So of course in 1920, this Parasaurolophus looked much more like a dragon as it was believed to breathe fire, which in current paleontology is completely ridiculous. However, despite the ridiculousness of the Parasaurolophus, the skull already resembles modern Parasaurolophus somewhat. Then we move on to the 1940s. The body is still unrecognizable, but it's more of a quadruped. Moving on to the 1960s, we've got very small arms. However, its head is incredibly recognizable even to this day. The Parasaurolophus is also the tail dragger, just like most other non-avian dinosaurs from that time. And then we move on to the 1980s, which is much more close to the depiction of the Parasaurolophus from Jurassic Park, which means it's not a tail dragger, but it still walks like a biped, thanks to its short arms. And then we move on to the 2000s depiction, in which the Parasaurolophus has hooves, and a much more recognizable faculative biped build, thanks to its rigid tail as you can see here. And now we move on to the present day Parasaurolophus, which has a long rigid tail, a very bulky body, a bunch of hooves, and of course, that duck bill. It is really cool to see the evolution of the Parasaurolophus from a fire-breathing dragon all the way to a majestic hadrosaur. What do you guys think of this evolution? Let me know in the comments down below, and subscribe if you want to see more paleo content.